Hi, it's Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another Vera Bradley haul. This is a, a, a mix of things. The first item is from my last haul, and I'll put a link right here um, in case you didn't see that one. It was for the red, white, and blossom and all the new Star Spangled and Star Power. But this large cosmetic was actually part of that order as well. Unfortunately, it just it arrived separately, and it arrived like five minutes after I finished filming the haul. So I alibied it in the remarks, but I did want to show it anyways because it is a beautiful piece. Um, so you have the red, white, and blossom. Pretty much just the same red, white, and blue you saw already, but a nice snippet. The front pocket on the large cosmetic is right here. It is a nice cotton line, and you get the star-spangled interior, but it's not plasticized, in case you're not familiar. And, and the back piece is actually like continuous, so you can see that the whole flower is intact but then the pocket is on top of it, so it kind of looks like it got chopped right there. Not too bad otherwise on the pattern placement on that, but on the back is actually perfect. You have a nice big bloom right there in the middle, and then you have the different smaller florals in the blues and reds around it. You got the stars. Yeah, so I think really nice snapshot there of the pattern. Not super important, I mean, it's a cosmetic bag, but still always nice when you get intact things in general. So. Anyways, inside is the Star Spangled pattern with the red, white, and blue stars all over it on a navy background. And it is plastic lined, of course, on the inside. So there you go. And Kelly wants to say hi. Come on. Are you, are you coming? Okay. <laughs> she's so funny. Um, she's a little ahead of schedule. It's about an hour and a half to dinner time, and she thinks it's now. But anyway, it's not. So the next two items, um, if you watched my last video, I'll put it here, um, not my last one, the one before, I had ordered a couple of readers cases to go with my new readers in Holland Garden and in Regal Rosette. And um, I had originally ordered the Garden Grove, but um, it didn't come in, or Garden Picnic, yeah, anyways, one of those gardens with the flowers. And they accidentally sent me the sunglass case, not the readers case, so we sorted that out and these are the replacement pieces that um, are actually what I ordered intentionally. So that completes that part of it. Now the rest of this is all a new order and it's a new pattern and some new styles. So a lot of fun coming. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, it's not important, but just to alibi what my thinking is sometimes, I, I do like to try new patterns, but I don't wanna go all in on something I haven't seen that I'm not sure about like on the red one blue okay i'm sure that was an easy go for me but if i'm not sure i'm kind of sitting on the go no go line i'll tend to buy like a folder or a notebook and take that as my first sneak peek of the pattern because you get a, a taste of the colors and the portions and all of that so i've done that with the bonbon medallion um, it is a geometric pattern it is a charcoal gray background and here is the pencil pouch so this is a snapshot of it. We'll get a better look at it in a minute, but it's got some nice pattern details in it. It is somewhat busy at first glance, but not overwhelmingly so, I think. Um, but sort of every time I look at it, I see a different piece of the detail, so that's kind of fun. But so like I said, charcoal gray background. It has black and white, pink, teal. I don't know if it's teal or mint. It's kind of in between. Um, it's got coral color, yeah yellow, it's fun. So lots of different colors and it just flies. But the medallion, Bon Bon Medallion, it is a big medallion. So you're only getting a piece of it there, but it's relatively centered, so I'm kind of happy with that. Now, this piece, the pencil pouch, this is a completely different configuration of these. It's different materials, it's different style, everything is different. Um, similar to the latest version. So this is like the third version I have now. Um, the first version was lighten up type and it had grommets like built into the edge. The last version that I had was also lighten up type, but it had like rope things for the, where it goes in the binder. This is like a, a vinyl coated cotton, kind of like the um, luggage tags type material on there. So it's, it's a piece of fabric with the, the clear, like in on top, um, not just like a separate thing. So, all right, so. It has a pocket on the front, which is, again, it's like vinyl coated all the way around inside and out. It's very lightweight, actually, um, surprisingly, compared to the Lighten Up version. But that pocket there, so it has the pattern inside and out. And 
The back part of that pocket is actually clear. So when I put my hand all the way in the pocket, or you can see like this tag sitting right here, the back, the back part of it's clear, but it, you know, so that's a separate pocket. You see that? Um, okay, so you have your front pocket, again, similar to the, the last version. The last version had that awful metal zipper here right in the middle, but it works. This one, um, the back pocket is clear, like I showed all the way down, kind of deep. But anyway, so, so that is that. It does have the ribbon zipper pulls, and we'll see. It should be pretty durable, and I don't have to worry about these fraying like on the other version. So, yeah, we'll see. I kind of like it. Just another different thing. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, this next item is new, and I already pulled the tags off because I started this video once already, and unfortunately my iPad ran out of storage space, so I had to do some maneuvering of things and I just started over on the video. But I already pulled the stickers off and put them away. So um, this is a folders. It's the spiral bound folders. There are five pages, 10 pockets. So you just open it up and it's these clear plastic. It's all plastic. So you have two-sided folder here, here. So. Five pages, two sides each, that's 10 pockets, which is really cool. Now, the, the outer part here, this is pretty nice. It is a robust plastic. This is like the material that they made the three ring binders in prior to them switching to the cardboard. This is by far my preference for the binders because it's so robust and, and I don't mind that it's a little slicky because it just slides in and out of things really easily, um, like into your bag and out and whatnot. And I tend, not to like spirals because you know in and out of a, a densely packed backpack um, they tend to get squashed and then they don't function properly um, yeah anyways so this is bon bon medallion and here's another look at the pattern and because it's a stationary piece patterns like this they they are centered and it's the same on the front and the back but yeah I'll try and give you a look at the pattern and the details there with all the different colors. It is a very pretty medallion too. So, yeah, we'll see. I really like the pattern. I'm not sure I like it on everything, um, but we'll see how it comes out. Uh, it's not too bold, not too subtle. It's kind of a nice balance. And the pockets is kind of cool folders. I'm gonna start using that right away because I have a whole stack of to-do things here and it's just gonna go like one for medical, one for, um, my YouTube stuff, maybe one for um, calendar extras. I don't know. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Notebook with pocket, bomb bomb medallion, 160 college ruled pages. Um, same look as what we just saw. And this is wrapped in plastic, but I think on this one, that is also because it looks, it's hard to tell. I really just need to open it up. At least a corner of it. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can miss it. It is not plastic. So the folders is plastic, the notebook is cardboard. Okay, that's fine. It's consumable, so that's all right. Um, but notebook with pocket, like I said, 160. It does have an interior pocket on here as well. Let's slide this over. Okay, those are gonna slide off, they're slicky. And next, I do have one clipboard. This is my second clipboard from Vera. Um, but this one is Bomb Bomb Medallion. So you get the same thing. I don't know why it has this white, like straight edge around it. I don't think it needed that point. I think it's fine, but I also would have been fine if the pattern went all the way to the edge, but it's cool. It fits, it, it jives with the pattern because you have that white dots, or white with black dots, and you have white with black dots kind of going everywhere. But this is a hard plastic. It does have a little hanging loop on the back, so it's like pre-made to you know, hang on a wall somewhere. And it has these low profile clippies on it, which is really nice. And it's metal on plastic, hard plastic. So I have heard other people, like um, this one gal on the, the focus group, she had really bad luck. Hers came to her broken. Like it had only been shipped just by itself in a plastic bag and had gotten, you know, trashed en route. Um, and so she just really wasn't happy with it. But I've been very lucky. This is my second and they're fine. My other one is a mint flower. So um, we have definitely seen that before, but yeah, I like it. And, and I like that, you know, everything's a little matchy matchy. 
So I had to get the notebook as well. So this is the three ring binder, also in Bon Bon Medallion. This is the newer style, and I say newer, it's been a while now, um, but it's the cardboard ones. I, like I said, I far prefer that heavy plastic version, um, but obviously I still like the cardboard ones because I still want the pretty designs. Um, now, usually the stationary type things, just like this notebook and the folders, they have a plastic over them. Well, you take the plastic off, but the stickers they put right on the item itself. I don't like that because like let's say I didn't take that sticker off right away and it's a year down the road and it's been, you know, sitting there, it, but it doesn't always come off cleanly. And I don't want a bunch of goopy crap on my pretty Vera binders. So, word of caution, take them off. Like don't don't wait unless you're going to leave them on indefinitely because it's ugly later. There you go, they do come off kind of nice, but just put on the plastic, it's shrink wrapped anyways. So when I take off the plastic, I take off my label. But inside, it does have two pockets, and again, it's cardboard construction, so these are, are you know, kind of thin. I can't get my finger there. Yeah, so I mean, it's, it's paper, so it'll rip, you just gotta be careful. With the plastic ones, you can kind of overstuff them, and they'll reshape or stretch a bit or whatever, but if you overstuff these, they'll rip, and you're done, done. But they're nice and I haven't really challenged these um, I just I just know in my experience growing up with cardboard binders like this that they do not last lucky for me I'm not in school right now but I want to be so I'm stuck it up all right so last item for this haul is the cinch laundry bag and this is also in bomb bomb medallion and this is our first look at a bigger swath of the pattern itself because this is a relatively large item so there you go it's kind of like a giant ditty bag really um but here you go here's the whole pattern you get um the medallion but an enlarged thing versus what we saw on the stationary pieces um but i think it's it's sort of light and bright and also not too light so it's like dark and light at the same time i don't know if that really makes sense it sounds quite contrary but um, I think the good part about it is that it will hide dirt. Not that I plan to get a whole bunch dirty, but I use these bags specifically for when I'm traveling, like with my trailer, my RV, and I use the back of my truck, which is covered and it is, you know, weather sealed and stuff, but every once in a while a little bit of water gets in there. Well, if you're traveling for a multi-day trip, you don't want all the stuff in the back of the truck to get wet. So when I put like my extra clothes or things like that, I want them in a waterproof or at least water resistant bag to protect them. And these laundry bags are perfect for that. So there you go. Um, and this is, I believe it's reactive, not lighten up. So and not honestly, I don't know because it doesn't say on the tag. Let me see. Ah, it must be, it won't. It's hard to say because it has this, it has the reactive tag, but then right there it says lighten up lighter impact. I think it's reactive because it does feel different than my other ones. But the good part about that, it means that it's more water resistant. And so not all of the reactive has this robust internal side to it, but this is the, the part that makes it really waterproof. I mean, this is, this is significant. Different than my lighten up ones in that regard. It's definitely much more water resistance to it. And that's great because if I'm using it for dirty laundry or if I'm using it to keep the clean stuff dry or you know clean and dirty separate it all is good so let's look at this bag itself first thing is inside you have a tether it's sewn into the side of the bag at the top and it's a lighten up tether with a quick release hook on it and it's a laundry bag like a mesh bag and it, it's coordinating color so of course it's dark gray to match the interior there and it has a zipper on it so you can put your you know your bras your panties whatever you can put your masks these are great for washing your cotton face masks and things like that you can put your socks so they don't get lost whatever so use it how you usually fit you also can just use that as an organizational thing you know in any bag traveling you know like a packing queue kind of thing but anyway you can use it how you want but it clips right in so you always have it with you um, and then you have your handles internal hold handles and it's a cinch closure. So on the top, you kind of lose a good almost two inches here because that top part, but the cinch is about that far down. 
It does a couple things for you though. Okay, this is new and stiff, so it's a little tricky to get cinched all the way. But it is a rope type cinch. It's nice, it works great. There is a toggle on it, so it's like a push to latch and you slide that up and it stays cinched really well with that on there. And then what you can do is you can carry it over your shoulder, you can split it, carry it like a backpack, you can carry it still by the handles up top, like that. And because there's extra material on the upper edge above the cinch line, that kind of does give it just a little bit extra closure, if you will. Uh, but yeah, so you cinch it way down. And on the outlet version, there's a pocket, but on the retail side one like this, there's it's very simple. There's nothing to it. That's it. One word of caution. This bag, if you have it heavy, which is very easy to do, even with just clothes, these will cut into you on your shoulder. So this is by no means a long hike kind of a bag. It's enough to get you to and from like, like the trailer to the truck and the truck to the laundry or, you know, things like that or just loading and unloading, it's great. Anyway, so back to Cinch Laundry Sack. So this is my sampling of Bomb Bomb Medallion. For me, it is a win, so I will definitely look for more things coming out probably in the June release, I would anticipate. Um, I don't know for sure, but that's what I've heard and what I would guess with more French Paisley and more Bomb Bomb Medallion coming in June. And then sometime down the road, maybe June, maybe July, I don't know exactly, the Harry Potter stuff is still coming, so. I'm very, very curious now as it's getting closer about what that pattern's gonna look like um, because I could see myself it's either gonna be hit or miss. Um, yeah, so I'm not super crazy Harry Potter, but I do like it. I do have some like bag charms and things, but my niece is a fanatic and so I'd love to get some things for her. But anyway, getting ahead of myself. We'll see about that when we see about that. And for now, that's it for this one. Coming up next is a lug haul and I'll see you again soon. Washi washi, bye for now.